Go ahead. <laughs> Um, no, I haven't seen a test figure like that. I mean, 500, I think it is the record in the day one of the test. I mean, it was unbelievable. Um, the Austin back in back, fantastic in terms of the other words are on it. So, um, you know, hopefully we can go in tomorrow and get another big one, maybe a thousand. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You started the day with 14, 4 off the first over. Yeah. Did you feel like that sat tight and you were able to do yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it was nice to start well. I mean, it was obviously very good to put on. And, um, you know, it cuts on the front of the early, so um, you know, I was pleased with that. And, you know, I think it got well a few of the second moment as well. So, yeah, it was nice to put on the back foot. Me go ahead. I'll start with you, Zach. I mean, obviously, for yourself, trying to build on the start that you played in the test cricket and trying to find, that, I guess, consistency mm -hmm. that England have shown that faith in you. How pleasing is it for you to do that? Show that faith, repay that faith for that performance today. Yeah, I was pleased with how I played. Um, it's always nice to score a test hundred. You know what we were going for, and um, you know it wasn't easy to bat over the bat in the summer. And uh, I thought I played okay at times. Um, I played some some decent numbers, but you know I didn't quite get the big score. And uh, it was nice to get hundred today. And did you feel as though once you got yourself in that it was just a case of catching in and making the most of it? Yeah, it's um, yeah, obviously I, I, you always want more in cricket, that's what's so frustrating about the game because uh, you know, I was annoyed when I got out and um, even though it's one of the best days of my career, it's you know, still annoyed when you get out because you always want more. So um, yeah, I, you know, I was happy to get you know, 120, but you always want more. Uh, have you been uh, first test back after a little while where you know, I read something about how much you wanted to get a test 100 and you have that chalked up next to your name and you've got it as a field? Yeah, pretty special day. Um, yeah, it's been a while since my last one, and you know, it was amazing representing my country. But the one thing I wanted to do was, you know, first score a, score a test century, but you know, try and try and get my, my place in the team, and um, it's a good way to start. Take one from Bish, and then we'll open it up from. Hi, Mike. Uh, this is quite interesting to both of you because Crawley has had a couple of um, maybe a week ago you mentioned about how. Back in the bed, looking good for you because not just left hand right hand, but you're a few different side of some still firms out there. Um, can you talk about what it's like batting with each other, I suppose, and the chances of you know, or rather bowling getting used to bowling into one of you that have to adjust the bowling to the other? Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm, I'm pretty small and group is pretty tall, so you know, I think the lengths that they bowl have to be you know, very different to both of us. And, you know, the areas that we hit very different as well. Um, the bowlers have to come around the wicket to me and, and change the line, so yeah, it's pretty fresh, but, but it was a good start and I'm happy. Cameron, then we'll go here. Hi, Zach. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I just want, on 99, did, did you think it was missing? Uh, what were the emotions that were going through? <coughs> Uh, I thought I was out to be honest, but luckily that he didn't do it with this he's got good eyes. So, uh, you know, I was obviously felt like I missed an opportunity and then to get him not out and the review was um, an unbelievable feeling and then um, made that actually more special. And, and like, did you actually think he was missing or was that just on 99? No, it, it looked like it was missing, but I think if it was hit middle halfway up by the time it was review anyway. Thanks. 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 At the front please. Hi Zach, uh, Ben Hunt from Sunderland. Um, you know, Last year, English cricket team, the viral infected Kumar. You are in Melbourne or in Rawalpindi? Uh, it was a game plan when you uh, won the toss. 506 score, 4 centuries. It's a game plan. I mean, that wasn't the that wasn't plan. That's what I mean. The whole idea I think of it is to look at the score. Um, whatever really is looking to score quickly, it was looking to positive and if they hold you know, 100 balls in a good position, in a good spot, then we'll block 100 if we get an opportunity to score and we'll score and um, the output was right today, which helped us score quickly and, um, and the pitch was good, so I think that's why we score quickly, it's not like we're trying to score six moments, um, I think it's just how we're going to get into those. Uh, and nothing taking away from the brilliant stroke uh, play we have seen today from uh, all of the English players. But do you think the wicket has also contributed somewhat uh, in this, this stroke making and the bowling attack uh, sort of 
Is there any other thing? Yeah, I think it was a it was a very good pitch about um, you know an important toss. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll answer that question when both sides are back in the end of the five days. But yeah, it's going to be tough work to take twenty wickets on that pitch. Um, but yeah, I think we'll have our plans and we'll learn from maybe what Pakistan didn't do as well today. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a graph there the next four days. Thank you. This is also really over in the beginning. The real name is Mama. Excellent uh, performance by the English uh, team. <coughs> Here is any kind of uh, uh, director from your coach to play a attacking game, or this has happened due to uh, pitch behavior? I think it's it's just the way the group of players have played, you know, since the start of last summer. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm pretty fresh, you know, I'm new into the squad, so um, we certainly don't sit down at the start of the day and say this is what we want to do. Um, I think it's more about reacting. You know, as like I said, there's going to be times where it's going to be tough work, especially at the top of the order. You know, we'll have to try and find a way to get through that. Um, yeah, I don't think there'll be many days where you know each and every batter you know goes on the scores as quickly as we did today. But yeah, it's definitely not a plan. But yeah, we, we want to be able to be positive and be able to take quite a lot of time. Simon, two here, and then we'll take them Does it day like today? Confirm the idea that you do the reinventing test for you. Um yes, I question. I mean you were obviously trying to change how we have been playing. And I think the Super certainly done that. Um if you look at you know the Aussie team from twenty years ago, they were playing pretty positive, they might not have been you know as short as quickly maybe as we are. I mean they might swim through with T20 and the guys have been very skilled. Um but uh, you know, we're, we're certainly trying to change the way we used to play because um, we weren't getting a lot of success doing that. And um, you know, I, I feel like we're building something into a, you know, we're, we're building into a decent side. We've got to be consistent with it, and we proved that we can be quite consistent with it during the summer. So um, the important thing is that we're getting better. Doesn't really matter the rest of it. Yeah, this gentleman here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Whatever. Back on my phone. As we know India now made this particularly uh, aggressive strategy. I was just wondering how effective these skills now that you sweep the first test you played away from home since Brendan McCullough came in, and how uh, effectively and easily it scales to Pakistan as it does to India. Did you think you were going to play exactly the same way? Because it seemed like it worked out quite well. I mean, I, I wasn't there before, so I can only totally say from what I think, but just for being in this squad, Know, for a small amount of time, I don't think it really matters where we are in the world. Um, I think it's always going to be this, the same <coughs> plan is to be positive. Um, at the same time, it's, it's not going to be as easy as that. But you know, whether we're here in India, South Africa, Australia, you know, I think we'll, we'll be looking to play this brand of cricket, um, and that's certainly from the top. You know, it's how we practice, um, and you know, at the minute it's going really, really well. Hi Zach. Hi Zach. Hi uh, Ben. My question is for both of you and also welcome to Pakistan. So start the, uh, starting off, Zach, I wanted to ask you, you've been under the pump for quite a while in this cricket and ever since your breakthrough knock of 267 versus Pakistan in Southampton, uh, you've got consistent backing from both Baz and Ben Stokes. So how good does it feel to come good today? Uh, how does that feel like in terms of validation? And to Ben, you've had a fair bit of success with respect to playing cricket in Pakistan, especially in the limited overs format. So how does it feel to come back after a few months and after a six year long hiatus in test cricket? How does it feel to get a hundred uh, in your very first game? Yeah, um, yeah, it was great. Thanks, uh, um, you know, we always dream about test hundreds and, um, you know, it's, today was very special, obviously I had a tough summer and, um, I think that was that made it more special today. And, um, yeah, it was a fantastic day, and I was I'm just delighted. Yeah, I think you know, especially facing Nassim and Harris in the T20 series, and, you know, performing against them gave me confidence coming into this series. Um, you know, albeit being a different format, I knew what the pitch was going to be like out here. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm over the moon to, you know, it's a big series for me, I've, I've got the backing 